get away from Kevin. Kevin was always wonderful. I mean, a lot of people don't know, uh, Kevin not only is one of the nicest guys you ever meet, he's very smart, and I get to test the this. Yes, he is. I remember he was using college ruled notebook paper in the 10th grade. <laughs> so we always knew Kevin was really gonna make it. But sadly, like most musicians, he got bullied. Uh, I remember seeing him getting pushed around the lockers in high school, and I always wish he would just stand up and fight, but he never did, he just ran. <laughs> ran so far away, he couldn't get away. Greg Kirkell to form the band On the Lava, releasing a self-titled album in 1995. He then joined the Portland Power Trio, Western Aerial, recording and performing until Greg joined the 80s band, Animotion, in 2002. Animotion was playing festivals and many photos with Flock of Seagulls, who had lost their drummer and asked him to join that group in 2016, playing all over the world with the group best known for the song, I Ran So Far Away. He has played with a number of other national acts, including Missing Persons, New Shoes, Tommy Tutone, and Jennifer Batten. During the pandemic, he took time to create the popular podcast, All Access with Kevin Rankin, with hundreds of music interviews. Let's welcome Kevin Rankin into the 2022 class of life. There was, a, there was a typo, there was a mispronunciation there. I have to give credit to the band that I joined when I moved here, uh, Ana Lama, that you just heard. Uh, Leah Kruger, Greg Kirkley, two of the most incredible musicians and songwriters I've ever worked with in my life. Um, but before I mention some of those contributions to music, uh, there are people here tonight in this room, not just the amount of friends and bandmates and, and real big supporters of me, but the people that are responsible for me being up here tonight, uh, made the trip from Montana long ago when I was a painfully shy little boy. My mom came up to me because I was just so unable to make friends. I know it's hard to imagine, right? Um, but my mom trained me at five to walk up to brand, brand new strangers, extend my hand, look them in the eye, and say, my name's Kevin, and I'm gonna be your new best friend. <laughs> So 47 years later, I'm still making friends. And then I followed in the footsteps of my dad, an amazing sax player and clarinetist in a Dixieland jazz band, played clarinet through junior high school, and I realized that it was impossible to pick up girls playing clarinet. <laughs> when my Uncle Jim Frollo, an amazing drummer in Chicago, had uh, this drum set, introduced me to the drum set at a, uh, an early teen, point in my life when hormones were raging and testosterone was eating through, coursing through my veins and I needed to hit things and it was okay to hit things. I switched to drums and pursued every opportunity that I possibly could. My dad got me my very first gig uh, when I was 16 and uh, from that point forward it was everything that I wanted to do. There's nothing on the planet that I wanted to do more than play drums. Aside from playing drums, uh, because of that connection that my mom gave me. There was this saying that I heard a few years ago that I resonated, it resonated with me so much. Um, Jim Carrey gave this saying at a commencement speech for some marketing students when he told these marketing students that we're gonna go out in the world and make money. But he said, the effect you have on others is the greatest form of currency there is. Just like Art Abrams said tonight, just like Louis Longmire was talking about, the important thing is, over anything else on this planet is the connections that we make with each other. I really value the Oregon Music Hall of Fame, what they've done, more than any of the recognition for the people that are up here that have made contributions. This is what it's all about right here, music education. And for 
the lesson for music in the school is we would all be in trouble, right? So, um, a few years ago I started an organization, it's defunct now, but it was a, a homeless outreach where the slogan was compassion through music. I really feel like that's what brings us all together, that's why you guys are here tonight. I have a few people I definitely need to thank. People that made sacrifices in my life, besides my parents who let me play drums late in the night. The mother of my children, Jen Rankin, was so supportive. She followed me here without complaining to Portland from Montana. Uh, sight unseen, I told her when I visited, Portland is absolutely where I want to be. Um, I, I dragged her out here, um, and we decided to wait on having kids until I made it. And um, thank God things happened the way that they did. As soon as I had kids, uh, my beautiful boys, Caleb and Nolan, who are here tonight as well. Uh, my brother, Ben Rankin, who's also here tonight, uh, you guys have given up so much, so much time and energy, a lot of weekends, a lot of holidays that I've been on tour over my life. So many of you guys, so many friends, so much family, it, it blows my mind. Um, musicians that I've played with, there are many of you here tonight, I see that my, my dear brother, Bill Wattles from Animotion is sitting there. I, I love this man. If it weren't for drums, I guarantee you, I would not be alive today. And that guy right there is responsible for a lot of this, so thank you. Um, I am so grateful, and honestly, more than anything, none of this would happen if it weren't for Terry Curry. So please, please, give it up for Terry.